Okay, I have no idea what happened to this thing. Uh, it's a new FW3i. Uh, the budget light forums um, lumen top uh, project light, and I received this one. It's the actual warm white one. I originally ordered had ordered the ST SST20 um, 4K, but they resent this warm white. So I've been playing with it anyway, and it was sitting on my night table, and it fell off and, and landed uh, on the floor. And it suddenly turned on, and for some reason I couldn't turn it off. So whatever happened, here's what's been happening to it right now. The battery's in there. If I thread the thing tight inside the light, nothing happens. If I loosen it and tighten it again, sometimes I have it. It's like, okay. A few minutes ago it was coming on, and it was, it was, uh, let's see. It's a 30Q. Standard battery, everything is the same. I've never modified the light other than adding a lanyard to the handle. Um, let's see. For some reason, now it won't work. A minute ago, it was turning on, it was stepping through all of its modes and going to full height mode. And not. Uh, oh, here it goes. There it goes. By itself. And I can't turn it off. It goes to turbo mode, and I can't turn it off. And it starts overheating really fast. And I, if I loosen it, turns off. If I tighten it, no, no, it's not working. Yeah, it's something really wrong, and I notice a smell of burnt in the thing. Uh, I'll post a picture in the Budge Light forums. There appears to be a trace that shorted out or something it burnt in the actual switch in, but now it just uh, cycles through all the modes automatically without even pressing the switch. It blinked now, see it doesn't turn on. And I notice the whole light is getting really hot, even when it's turned off, so I'm kind of scared about this. Okay, the cell just got hot, so this is this is not good. Obviously, judging by the smell, I'll show you the picture after of the actual um, trace in, in, the, in the tail cap. Now, this, this only fell like a foot and a half off my, net, off my night table. Uh, I hope anybody else not having these problems with this, this light. It, it was a great light, even though I wasn't fussy with the warm tint on this thing. Uh, for an actual flashlight, but still, it's like, holy crap, this thing should not fail by dropping a foot and a half. Seriously?